Welcome to the 2009 Bahamas Weather Conference web channel. A lot of people will go on the internet or somebody will show that surge scale that's attached to that Saffir Simpson scale and that surge scale should be thrown out the window or burned. It's worthless. Uh, each hurricane has its own size, its speed of motion, angle to the coast. It hits different coastlines that have different water rise heights associated with them for the same hurricane. So that scale is worthless. And that's where the confusion comes in. You get a category two that produces 20 feet of water. That's a Hurricane Ike. And you get a category four like Hurricane Charlie that produces six or eight feet of water. So that scale and water rise is not consistent with, with, the, the, with the scale. For over 30 years, for more than three decades, the Saffir Simpson scale has been used. How do you move effectively away from that into including more information? Well, part of the problem is it gets, it gets a little complicated because there are, there are four Im primary impact elements. There's the wind, and that's the, the primary part of the Saffir Simpson scale. There's the water rise, which is part of that is the surge. Part of it is from wave action. Then there's the waves themselves that do a lot of damage, and they can be 40 feet or they can be 15 feet. It makes a huge difference. And then, of course, there's the flooding from rain. So those are the four primaries. And the baby toe, that fifth toe of the footprint, are tornadoes. And so that's a threat as well, but those are much harder to forecast any time in advance of landfall. 